armed and dangerous. Sheriff's deputies are looking for this man who pulled out a weapon in the parking lot of a church. And leaders from several Detroit neighborhoods launching a new campaign to keep the city peaceful this summer. And taking a look Ooh. here over Belle Isle and the river, Easter Sunday here, a little bit on the chilly side just as the sun comes up. We'll talk to Andrew here in just a minute. Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News Today starts right now. Well, good Easter Sunday. It's 7 o'clock. I'm Grant Herms. And I'm Priya Mann. Thanks for joining us for Local 4 News today. Wow, what a beautiful yes, live shot a, to wake up to. A gorgeous sunrise out there. You're going to want to be bundled up, though, today. The scarf, the hat, the gloves, yeah. the coat, the whole deal. Andrew, I don't know how much the sun's going to actually help warm things up. <laughs> I know. We wish it did, right? <laughs> Certainly looks lovely out there, and it's a beautiful looking day for this afternoon. We have a bit of snow out there to, uh, to match that cold air. Some of those snow flurries still hanging in there since you joined us last night at 11 o'clock mainly north of 8 Mile for our friends over in parts of Macomb County, but also here in parts of St. Clair County as well and across southern Ontario. From Marine City over to Port Huron, we have a few snowflakes that are coming down, so be careful with some of these slippery conditions. From Lakeport over to Brockway, also K-Pack and around Emmett, also around Kimball. But it all goes away or fades away very slowly this morning and it reveals more sunshine this afternoon. But it remains cold this morning and chilly later today. 43 at noon, still need to bundle up this afternoon with highs only in the middle and upper 40s. Temperatures that are much as, as much as 10 to 15 degrees below average. 30 degrees right now over at the airport, winds at 7 miles per hour, making it feel like it's in the low 20s. It's only 29 right now in Pontiac, and make sure you bundle up for sunrise services and morning services in Ann Arbor, also in Howell, with temps in the 20s as well. Now things have changed for tomorrow's forecast. There's a better chance of snow, and we'll chat about that in minutes. All right, thanks, Andrew. That is some breaking news out of Pittsburgh this morning. That's where two people are dead and at least nine are injured after a mass shooting. It happened early this morning in Pittsburgh's East Allegheny neighborhood. Police say at least three of the injured people are in critical condition and most of them are stable. There is no word on any suspect right now. The investigation is still ongoing. And in South Carolina, where a man is now behind bars this morning after a mass shooting at a mall in the state's capital. Police say 14 people between the ages of 15 and 73 were injured yesterday afternoon. Nine of them had been shot. Another five were hurt while trying to leave the mall as shots rang out. The 22-year-old man arrested was one of three people detained by police after the shooting. Police say two other men were also detained and they have been released. Time now is 7.03 and sheriff's deputies in Macomb County are on the lookout for a man they say is armed and dangerous. This is 24 year old Christian Snow. Deputies say Snow pulled out a bladed weapon and damaged a car on Friday morning in the parking lot of St. Hubert's Church in Harrison Township. They say Snow is homeless and is diagnosed as schizophrenic. Investigators believe Snow hangs out around places of worship. If you see him, do not approach him and call 911 right away. Michigan State Police troopers are investigating a crash on I-96 in Wixom. Cell phone video here caught the aftermath of the crash. It happened around 5 yesterday near eastbound 96. State Police originally reported this as a deadly crash, but an investigation revealed that that wasn't the case. They say a Ford Edge left the freeway, rolled over, and then crashed. Investigators say two people were taken to the hospital. They are expected to survive. They believe the driver was driving drunk. The road has since reopened. And in the war in Ukraine, Russian attacks intensifying this weekend in eastern and southern Ukraine. At least one person is dead. Several are hurt after the Ukrainian capital, Kyiv, came under fire Saturday morning. The situation there is growing kind increasingly of hostile. Ukrainian officials say Russia is retaliating for the sinking of its warship in the Black Sea. More than 900 bodies of civilians have been discovered in the Kyiv region since the Russian army withdrew from there. The more weapons we put in, they're going to go after arms depots and things that can really disrupt Ukraine's ability to, to prosecute this war. Heavy-duty U.S. military aid is expected to arrive in Ukraine in the next 24 hours.
Let us some new developments in a double shooting at a home on Detroit's west side. Police say they're looking for a blue Chevy Malibu that the suspected shooter took off in. On Friday, police say two people were shot inside a home on Dickerson just off Houston Whittier. We're told a gunman walked into that home shooting and killing a 22 year old man. A gunman also shot a 17 year old girl at last check. She is stable and is expected to be OK. Anyone with information is asked to call Detroit PD. Detroit community leaders are launching a new campaign to create a more peaceful Detroit in the summer months. A press conference was held in front of the Spirit of Detroit. It featured men and women representing multiple Detroit neighborhoods. Organizers say action has already been taken through a variety of programs and the Detroit City Council is already on board. Where just people in community, especially those who have in, experienced incarceration, who have experienced violence, who have been perpetrators of violence, are leveraging their experiences in the street to make things whole, to make things better. Forest Detroit says it's working to create community violence intervention sites across the city. Well, ahead of today's Easter holiday, several Metro Detroit pastors volunteered their time to help pay for gas in honor of this weekend. Yeah, area churches in Detroit and Inkster raised $6,000, giving every driver 10 gallons of gas for free. On Saturday, the Shell Station at Joy Road and Southfield Freeway in Detroit was bumper to bumper with dozens grateful for the act of kindness. Blessing, blessing, because that's what saved me $20, $25, and I can do something different. It's not just uh, giving away gas. This is like much more than that, because we have been called to reach out to the world. And thanks for their actions, worries about the rising cost of gas and groceries have so many grateful this holiday weekend. Yeah, there was a long line even yeah. before it started. And just a little help can go a long way oh, right now, sure. especially. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. We do have a lot more to get to this morning on Local 4 News Today. But first, we got to check in with our Andrew Humphrey and his Easter forecast. That's right, and it feels like winter out there. Doesn't look like it too much, at least not yet. <laughs> we have some sunshine that's out there, but look at these temperatures, folks, stuck in the 20s, well below freezing. Yes, I was joking about it looking like winter because we have a good chance of snow, a better chance of snow for tomorrow. So we'll chat about that because there are some big changes in your weather forecast in minutes.